hi there everyone welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about forms in react as we all know that forms are a critical part of our web application and if you are a front end developer then i am sure that you must have dealt with forms quite a lot and you must have noticed that if there are too much of forms to handle then it becomes quite a daunting and complicated task to handle it so in this video we are going to see how we can deal with form in a scalable clean and elegant way using a react library called react hook form so without any delay let's begin so let me give you a quick introduction to react hook form so react hook form basically helps you scale and maintain your form in a very easy way right so and it makes you validate your form uh, like a piece of cake right so it's like walk in the park you can do form validation and scale your form in a very performant way right and this library is also highly performant as you can see that react hook forms just something known as isolate renders right so if you make your own control form then let uh, here's a demo if i type as you can see all the components are being re-rendered here right but what happens if you uh, make some changes with a form using react hook form then if you type something then only that component is changing child a child b and the child c components are not going through any re-rendering but if you do any sort of change here then all the child component gets affected right so because here we haven't implemented isolated re-renders right but if we use this library then react hook forms offers you something known as isolated re-renders so it gives you a lot of performance boost as well and you can do your form validations it's so easy to do form validations using react hook form and it is very easy to scale your form using react hook form all right so i'll show you a demo as well all right so here you can see that this is a form simple form that i have created so this form has your full name email address and password and i'm going to show you how easy it is to use react hook form in your project right so let me go to the vs code first and here i have a simple component that i have created for you so this is a form component it has your name input field email input field password input field and a sign up button that's all all right now here we are going to use react hook form right so in order to use react hook form what you need to do is you need to come here and uh, just type npm install react hook form that's all react hook form is going to install for you and then after that what you need to do is you just need to import this use form from react hook form all right so i'm just doing it here and after that now what you need to do is you need to import some of the thing from here okay so uh, what you need to do is you just come here and it gives you a bunch of things you come here and you can import it i'm going to explain it to you one by one don't worry i'm just going to remove this watch because we don't need it here all right and then here we have something known as register handle submit and form state so what this use form offer is it offers quite a lot of things for us so let's just say if you want to handle something let's just say we want to make an api call once the a sign up button is done right once the sign up button is clicked user has filled all the details then you can do that using the handle summit and it gives you all the data that user has filled that's what handle summit basically does for you and then the other thing is we have something known as form state which gives you error and set error so error and set error basically helps you do error validations all right or the form validations basically and then the register basically helps you register all your input element with the react hook form so that we can perform form validations in a very easy way all right so we will implement here so let's start with this now it is quite easy to register your input element with the react hook form you just need to come here and you need to write a curly braces and you need to say dot 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 uh, triple dot register that's all and you need to give the name of your input element right so the name of this input element is name so i'm just passing it here name all right and you can write all your validation here inside an object right and you can uh, make whether this input field is required or not here the name field is required right and if user hasn't entered 
uh, input field like uh, if the input field is empty name input field is empty then you need to you want to show some kind of messages uh, right error message so here what you can do is you can simply say come here and you can say name field is required okay and it just gives you that custom error message for you and in order to display the error message it is quite easy you just come here declare an empty object and then what you can do is you can simply say errors all right so we are importing errors here uh, from using the use form all right inside the form set we have errors and then we can simply say errors dot name right because why we have registered this input field using name so we are going to say errors dot name okay so if in the name input field there is some error then what we can do is we can display error message inside this paragraph i'm going to give this uh, paragraph a class name called error so that uh, it gives us some uh, error uh, css all right which i have declared here in the css which is not required i've just given the color red all right and then uh, in order to display the error message it's pretty simple you just need to come here and then you just need to type errors dot which input field error you, you want to display you want to display a name input field right so you just need to do name dot message and it is going to show the error all right so right now handle summit i'm going to commit and i'm going to show you a demo right uh you know what let's let me not uh commit the handle summit let me do this here as well now you want to do the form validation when user click on the sign up button right so sign up now button so what you need to do is you need to come here and you need to write on submit right so on submit you want to call this handle submit right so i'm going to make this handle submit all right so that's what and then here inside this we are going to pass the callback function which is known as on form submit so right and we are going to create this function okay so i'm going to come here and i'm going to simply create this callback function which is going to be on form submit and now this form is basically going to give us data all right and then we can simply come here and we can log this data and get all our form data that's all now let me come here okay and let me rephrase this and let me hit sign up and as you can see there we got name field is required error okay and now if i type something it is going to go away if i going to clear it again it is going to show some error now if i type uh, something and then hit sign up button there you go i got the object right so this object i'm getting using the data field as you can see inside the on form submit uh, uh, we got some parameter known as data and then we are just logging it out and then this on form summit is a function that we have created we passed it as a callback right so inside the on summit right on uh, inside the handle summit now handle summit is basically going to pass this parameter data for us and then we can get all the form data all right so let us quickly come here and then validate all the form and you know what like if you want to add other validation as well like the name field should be minimum two character or maximum two to four character then you can come here then write extra validations rule and then the individual error message as well but if you keep on writing here then this might look pretty dirty right and it might grow quite a large and each input field might become quite uh dirty to handle right the code might become quite uh, dirty to handle and then like i figure out a cleaner way to do so what you can do is i have written a validation here i'm going to go through one by one we can create a validation object right and then we can simply call and let me come here and then what what i can do is right uh i can hit enter here and i'm going to paste so what i've done is i've just created a form validation object and i have written the validation for each input field inside this object right so here i have written a validation for name where the name field is just required and if it is uh, if user is simply passing the empty name field then i want to show error message as name is required and for email also i have written a validation first is required if user is submitting empty email it is going to give email is required and the, here i have written a regex uh, code so you can basically google this pattern for validating email and you're going to get it right so this is a regex email validation pattern that i have written and if it does not match then again i'm sending an error message so in order to send the error message note 
you always need to set, uh, send that message inside this uh, message key all right and then here i'm passing it as invalid email address all right and then for password validation also i have written another object for required it is password is required and i want password minimum length to be eight character uh, so that the value inside the minimum length i have written as eight and then for message it will be password should be minimum eight characters that's all now we can handle error validation in a pretty clean way I can just come here and type form validation dot name all right because i want to validate it for form and now similarly what i can do is i can come here and i can copy here and then like this is for password field so let me register it as password name all right so come here and then let me type password properly and then this validation i want for password and i'm just writing it password and let me do the same for uh, okay, so this is for password. Okay, uh, I made a mistake here. So let me just come and you know what? Let me just copy here. And then now this validation is going to be for email. All right. And then this validation I want for email. So let me just change it to email. That's all. And one more thing what you can do is you can make this as a common component as well. And you can take the prop as the input name and label. And then you can reuse this common component as well and it works quite well right so that also you can do and then now if i come and refresh here and if i hit enter there you go you got your validation name is required right also guys what we need to do is we need to add this paragraph also in order to display the error message below is input field right so that we can show the error message as well now we want to show this paragraph if there is validation error inside the email so i'm going to write it as error dot email and then i'm going to say simply errors dot email dot message all right so this name is what we are passing it here inside the register right so whatever you pass inside the register you need to write it here only right so here this is the password field so i want to show the error for password so if there is some validation error in the password then i want to show the password error validation message here that's all now let me come here refresh and hit sign up and there you go we got the error message for the name field email field and password field as well now if i type something the name field error message is gone for email right now the invalidation is email is required right now if i type something there you can see the validation message got changed and it's it is saying now invalid email address right so i need to make a valid email address let me say w at the rate gmail dot com now as soon as i write dot co now the valid uh, invalid email address uh, validation is gone but if i remove oh again it is going to give invalid email address right so this is such a cleaner and easier way to uh, implement form validation using react hook form all right and there there you go now there is a validation error for password as well now if i type something password error is gone right password required validation is gone now if i remove it again you can see password is required this validation is still there but if i type something here now the password is required validation is gone basically but now the validation is changing to password should be minimum eight characters so let me quickly type eight characters here and as soon as i type eight characters again that validation is gone now if i hit sign up but uh, sign up now button and then i'm going to get all the details here email name password etc right so this is a pretty cool and easy way to handle form validation in react and also you can handle it in a very scalable way especially if you're working in a large scale project where you need to deal with from quite a lot then you can use this library and then you can handle uh form validations in a very easy and elegant way all right now what if you're wondering that hey if i get some kind of validation from the server side you know i'm making some kind of an api call and then now let's just say uh from the back end i'm getting some kind of an input field validation error message and i want to display that how can i do that right so that is also pretty easy so for that you need to import another function which is known as set error which you will be given by the use form hook only and then you just need to come here and you can 
हैंडल योर सर्वर साइड वैलिडेशन एज वेल राइट सो यू कैन हैंडल सर्वर साइड वैलिडेशन वन साइन अप बटन इज सेट एंड इफ यू गेट सम काइंड ऑफ एन एर राइट सो लाइक राइट नाउ वेन नॉट मेकिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ एन ए पी आई कॉल आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू मेक एन ए पी आई कॉल दैट आई हैव मेड एन ए पी आई एंड ए पी आई कॉल एंड एन आई गॉट सम काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म वैलिडेशन एर फ्रॉम द ए पी आई सो आई एम जस्ट सिंपली गोइंग टू टाइप जस्ट इफ ए पी आई एर एंड देन ह्योर वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन कम ह्योर एंड देन यू कैन पास द सेट एर फंक्शन एंड देन You can do validation as well. All right. So just to mimic that, we got some kind of a validation error from the API. For that, I'm going to create an empty uh, object which is known as API error. All right. This is going to be an object which is going to have an email field. Let's just say that email field is the one which is uh, giving us some kind of an error. All right. And then here the error is simply going to be true. and then here the message is going to be email is already taken all right so let's just say this is the validation message that we are getting from the back end now we are going to simply verify that if api error dot email dot error so if there is some kind of an error then we can so the email validation error so what we can do is we can simply say here we can simply basically set the type of the input where we want to display the error message so we want to display error message inside the input field so we set it the name as an email so i'm just going to pass the same thing here email all right and then here i can pass my error message and then here what we can do is we can simply set the type in order to know that okay this is a server side Uh, error validation okay for uh, now by doing so that we can understand okay this uh, validation error is coming from the server that's all and then now what we can do is we can directly pass our error message inside this message keyword we can simply say api error dot basically email all right again typo dot email dot we can simply say dot message all right and then we are going to get that server side email validation error as well now if i come and refresh it and if i hit sign up there you go we got the client side validation all right and let me handle this client side validation okay and now if i hit submit there you go that email is already taken we got this server side validation error message as well so all right guys i hope you guys like this video and i'm sure that you're going to use react hook form in your next project if you are dealing with quite a, a lot of forms uh, and i suggest you to use this because uh, this library is quite performant right so this is not going to add any burden inside your project basically it is going to uh, enhance your code quality quite a lot because you can scale your form uh, quite a well by using this library and i hope you are going to use it if you like this video please Uh, like that button and then hit that subscribe button as well it motivates me to make more such video and i'll see you all in the next video